Todd's swimming with sharks experience. Um, in light of recent events, which you may or may not have read about, uh, my good friend Todd can't be with us on this swim. In fact, he won't be joining us on any future swims unless we can somehow arrange wheelchair access to the ocean. Um, you may recognise me, of course, from the telly. I think it's safe to say that since uh, Steve Irwin took one in the chest for nature lovers everywhere, uh, myself and my friend Todd are Australia's premier TV wildlife botherers. Uh, you may have seen our award-winning documentaries, Scotty and Todd, the snake irritators, uh, pestering the wallabies, the personal journey, and uh, getting all up in a wombat shit with Scotty and Todd, uh, a personal favourite of mine, who can forget that furry little fella's face as we flicked his testicles with a ruler. Uh, priceless, and educational as well, which is why we won the BAFTA. Um, in case anyone was wondering, uh, my accent is fake. Um, <laughs> now, in about 20 minutes time, we'll be swimming with shacks. Um, but uh, first of all, is everybody here? Are we all here? A few more of you than we were expecting, but I'm sure we can cram you all in. It's a, it's a big ocean. Um, but in the light of... Uh, the tragic events of our last um, two or three excursions, uh, I'm legally obliged not only to conduct a head count, but also an arm and a leg count. Um, it just prevents uh, confusion and unnecessary arguments after the trip. She says she had two when she got on the boat. Um, ultimately, it's her word against mine, and legally she doesn't have a leg to unless... uh, that's, that's inappropriate. Uh, has, uh, Anyone here ever swam with a shack? Anyone? Anyone at all? What's a shack? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're really going to enjoy this, too. You're going to learn loads, mate. Seriously, I mean, I've swam with sharks countless times, uh, even had a shower with one once. Uh, I was young and drunk, but I took precautions. Uh, and a little bit of information uh, about sharks. Now, sharks have uh, cold, dead, black eyes, like, like David Mitchell's eyes. Um, but unlike David Mitchell, sharks don't get invited onto a lot of panel shows. Um, I'll tell you why. The shark would eat the shit out of Lee Mack and whoever was hosting. Um, they're just that deadly. Um, sharks evolved 65 million years ago uh, today. Well, maybe not today. I don't know if it's their birthday or anything. I'm no scientist. Um, but this means sharks are as old as the dinosaurs. Twice as mean. And up to three times as swimmy, okay? So let's be careful now. Um, so in a few, a few short minutes, you're going to be getting up close and personal with one of nature's most efficient killing machines. And probably a couple of questions will be going through your mind at that point. Uh, one of which is probably, how do I avoid annoying this animal? Well, uh, to be honest, if old Sharky sees you, he's going to be pissed. Um, Shacks, they've got a temper at the best of times. Uh, as I found out when we were filming our sadly aborted documentary, uh, Scotty and Todd in a seal shaped dinghy full of kids trying to work out what makes a great white shark cranky. Um, the answer, it turns out, is uh, nothing specific. Uh, they're pretty much genetically arsy. Um, so, uh, I need a couple of, uh, just a few safety instructions. Now, uh, I don't know where my accent went there. Right, now. <laughs> this is what we're looking for, basically. It's your shack, your prehistoric toothy killing machine. Now, um, I just want to check something. Would you recognise the warning signs that would lead you to believe that a shack attack was imminent? Right. You reckon so? Is this a warning sign? Yeah, no! no. <laughs> this is a small shack swimming quite far away. No worries! <laughs> <laughs> is this a warning sign? I wouldn't say no, no. Well, you're wrong. It's a small shack about to eat its way through your face! Play <laughs> <laughs> spiny shack eggs in your brain or cavity! Now, God willing, that's not going to happen to any of you on this trip. Uh, but if it does, don't worry. Having spiny shark eggs in your brain or cavity is no 
longer the social hindrance it once was. You still maintain your regular leisure activities, such as drinking, talking to ladies. However, you may find some of your higher brain functions to be impaired, such as coherent speech and the ability to judge when and when not to masturbate. <laughs> See, you've swung the shacks before, sir. <laughs> That's where we can see them. Okay, uh, so that's about it. So we'll all pile into the boat. For God's sake, people, try not to look like a seal. Thank you very much. <laughs>